a lot of times dentists give them money and they wind up on the backside of some grocery store on, on a dark alleyway and they're like no visibility yeah who the hell sent you back there what who, what were you thinking when you got that oh my cousin said that this was a good spot so it wasn't anything that actually had to do with any kind of research of what's going to be best we just wind up and like i said the reason i wound up in those two is because other dentists that were working with me so well, i got the space that were mine and i could put you in there and i took the chance but it wasn't the way to go i think the real way to go to be successful at it is the same way that mcdonald's and all the rest of them you have people who just specialize in looking for and you already have all the criteria written out you know where you're going to go even though you haven't seen it and that's why i was saying the thing with that um, bank building mm -hmm. that uh, uh, what's the name sent, I know that that'll work because one, now you don't have to really drive down there. The only thing I have to do is put it in Google Earth and click on it, and I see all of the homes around it. I see where it's located, how the corner, I uh, know the street. That's, I mean, now with this digital technology, you really don't have to go too far to see the location but you can you can look at it because it's a lot of places you got to look at before you find the right one it's just real estate is all about looking at so many of them and knowing what you're looking for and once you find it then trying to make that offer and negotiate and you got to be willing that's the one thing i did learn from donald trump not that i'm a trump supporter in any way <laughs> but uh, i did learn from his book is that you do have to be able to walk away from a lot of deals because right. Uh, everything is not going to work and sometimes you're going to look at stuff and it's, it looks like it's it's the right one but the price can't work and that's why i was talking about the uh, amortization schedule because you have to know if i get this this is how much i can charge per month even if you're leasing it to your own company or you and and Possibly you're looking at down the road selling your company to someone else. Are they going to pay some exorbitant lease? No, you got to keep it within a certain range. And you know, you know, here I could charge two fifty per square foot. Here I can charge three fifty triple net. And we talked about triple net. But that's when you put it in the amortization schedule and you say, well, I finance it for twenty years. This is going to be my monthly mortgage. How much can I charge? Um, the the rent you know so you're leasing the space and if you can get a, a positive cash flow on that now you have passive income because they're going to take care of the triple net means they're going to cover your insurance your taxes and all of the the maintenance and so forth on your building net 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 you're you're out of the picture even you wrap into that your management fee now you have a management company that's being paid for by the tenants you're, a, you're in Hawaii, you're kicking back wherever, take a three month vacation, the money is still coming in. And that's when you come to making money as we speak. I love that one.